Yeah, he started. So we are going to do reference documents and currency translation. Any problem so far? No, 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 no. We are dealing with reference documents. Mm -hmm. Kindly understand whenever I say reference documents, we are basically talking about templates. Mm -hmm. What templates? I mean, uh, <coughs> you maybe have monthly or half yearly or yearly insurance exp expenses, loans, EMI, you are filling, filing every month. Similarly, you are getting money as royalty, or maybe uh, you are getting money as rent every month. So, the recurring entry for those transactions, which happens frequently over the period of time. <clears throat> As the name is suggesting, the first type is recurring. So, it's saying something which reoccurs over the period of time. That is what we call that a recurring entry. Okay. First of all, understand whatever we will create as a recurring document, they are going to be template like. Uh, the case you look some somewhere good CV template what you do you just convert it by changing the details yeah. of that and make it your CV right so that is what the template is template is not your document but it's a format okay that you right. may want but in case of SAP you know modifications and all uh, will not, not be done regularly mm -hmm. so here we take the transactions where at least the amount is almost fixed like at least it should not change every month. Even if it is changing once in a year, twice in a year, then that's fine. You can do that. You can change the document. But still, uh, these documents are kind of fixed nature. Second thing is, uh, there should be a time gap. Like, you know, uh, recurring entries should uh, repeat itself over the period of time. It can be, uh, you know, list one month. And maximum 12 months so if a document which is rotating its cycle between 1 to 12 months then it can be a candidate of recurring entry okay here we'll take some examples say rent received monthly frequencies yeah monthly okay Maybe we'll take take the royalty received. And we keep its frequency to maybe quarterly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Say some expense. Any expense we'll take. EXP. Say insurance expense. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're paying it half yearly, one twice in a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Half yearly. Then after, <laughs> like that, we'll create some entries. You know, a company may have one, ten, hundred, thousands of entries like that. What they might want to repeat over the period of time. So the first setup is create a recurring entry. So accounting, financial, GL, document entry. Here you will find reference documents. And here you go, FB, T1. This is what? Okay. A recurring document. Okay. Open it. What is the company code? T81. So yeah. First one date should be maybe first date of this month, maybe. 2017. Last one date should be maybe you know you're paying a loan installment, so it is going to last for next three years. Mm -hmm. So you should be putting a date after three years, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Zero one zero nine two thousand and twenty-two. Five years its validity is. Here you decide the frequency interval in months. Yeah. You have time. 
to take one month least and 12 months max. Okay. So say one month every month. Document type since we are dealing with GL, so SA currency would be USD. And here put posting key 40. Here open the list of accounts. And say it as what royalty, 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 rent receipt here. Okay, mm -hmm. rent receipt, huh? Take it as rent income monthly. After this, after the 40 minutes, debit. Sir? 40 minutes, debit, debit. right? Mm -hmm. Then give the account number and hit enter. Posting periods no longer allowed for a start dates. Let me check. OV52. Here, go to TAT1. 8 to 8. This is ninth month now. August is over, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will become nine to nine. It <coughs> enter. See it all. How much rent you are receiving? Say for example, six thousand US dollars. As rent. Okay. Now. Okay. Right. Now. Give some text also here. Like you have given previously. to hear clearly okay now Anirul? yeah 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 it's better now no i wasn't able to hear clearly actually okay better Did keep that one. You can change the date also if you think some transaction is running every fifth, every sixth of the month. So you can take the date dates tentatively. Okay. Okay. Zero one zero nine twenty seven. So this transaction is going to last for next ten years. Mm -hmm. Interval is twelve. Means once in a year. Right. Yeah, twelve means yeah, okay. after every twelve yeah. months. Document type essay. Come down here and put it as royalty received what yearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? The bank will receive money, so of forty with the bank account 2010 say how much 
Posting key 50. Account is, 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 is. Hmm. <laughs> royalty. Let's go royalty here. But I start to copy the amount and plus to copy the text. Provided that amount and text should be there in the previous screen, then only it will be captured. Mm -hmm. So we have mentioned how much? Two entries. Let's put up a uh, expenditure also. Say some five nine seventeen, and it is going to last until five nine two thousand and twenty three. Six years interval in month. Save three quarterly. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Posting key essay. So document type essay and say it as. Uh, let's check the account number which account we can take then we'll decide say repair and maintenance cost mm -hmm. we are paying after every three months okay right Okay. How much? Thirty five hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And here put up the bank account and start and a plus and save it so we have how much three documents right right now we need to run this cycle on monthly basis every month out of that we have three entries right one is monthly one is yearly and mm -hmm. one is quarterly yeah, it's quarter. So one document which is scheduled for monthly will run every time. I mean every month that will be running. Rest two. The quarterly one will run after every three months. And the yearly one will run after every, after year always. Right? Yes. So let's go and find out if you have to modify them, how to modify that. Modifications are always allowed in documents folder. So documents. Here reference documents and here you find recurring documents mm -hmm. out of recurring document go to fbd2 mm -hmm. this is not a posting okay. these are not going to be displayed in accounts the one we have posted so far are not going to be posted to accounts because these are templates they are stored in a separate table and whenever they need to be you know reference or uh, posted they will be fetched from the database mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now hit mm -hmm. enter see this is the entry, right? You want to change amount? Okay. You want to raise it to 4,000? Just make it like this. So one item you changed, but the other item will be showing 3,500 only. So change, double click on that also and change that as well. Go back and see. You have changed amount from 3,500 to 4,000 and post. Mm -hmm. If you want to check, check the list of documents that you can be able to modify, click on documents no, list, no, provide your company code and execute it. And see, you have three documents here. Okay. Whichever you want to change, just double click on that. Yeah. If you want to modify the cycle, if you want to pre-close the document earlier, or maybe you want to postpone the dates, or maybe you want to uh, extend it, so go to the entry first. See, not like that. First of all, double click on the entry and come into this view, the view you are seeing right now. Okay. From here, go to go to and then click on recording entry data like this. See, the first run date you can't change. That has been fixed now. Right. Last run date, 
you can change you can change frequency if you want to delete it you must have to set this indicator from here otherwise okay. nothing will be deleted setting this will not delete it after setting this indicator there is another transaction called as f.56 you will see on the previous i mean uh, when i go back then only it will be deleted otherwise if you don't set it it will not be deleted i'm not setting it since we have three documents only and i don't want to delete them so go back but the criteria is if you don't set the deletion indicator it will never be deleted if you want to delete this entry come down here to after setting the indicator f.56 and delete it okay <laughs> sorry yeah then after close this one now the run time you might want to run it on a monthly basis so before running we maybe look around for the list so monthly postings are always counted in periodic postings processing option like you can see here you will find periodic run inside that you will find a folder called recurring entries and then there are two transactions f.15 and f.14 f.15 is for looking at the list and f.14 is for executing the transaction mm -hmm. All right, so F.15 first. Sure. Let's check out TAT1. All scheduled entries will be displayed over here and executed. We have three, so three are getting displayed here. No. Points to remember. First of all, uh, 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 interval, this one. This is called frequency. Look out the interval. Every month mm -hmm. means one. Every 12 months, once in a year means 12, and quarterly means after every three months. Mm -hmm. Run date is saying one and one means two of the documents will be posted on every month's first date, or whenever they get posted, they will always be posted on first of that month, and the third one, quarterly one, is posted on fifth of every month. Or maybe as per their frequency, which is three, so every three months it will be posted on fifth. Okay then first run and last run will be showing same right now because we have not run it so far even single time after running to running it once these dates will be changed according to their next schedule okay, okay. now from here go back go for running it for running it you need to go to f dot one four execute and take it as t81 you you may put fiscal year you may skip it up to you in the settlement period what is the current month september yes so one nine two thousand and seventeen up to 30th August, September, 31, 31, okay, it's 30th month, huh? 2017. Have a look. What I did, I have started first date of the month until the last date of month. So means uh, all the documents which are where a start date is between 1 to 30 will be considered. Means we are trying to run the whole one month's post in one go okay? okay now here in the batch input session name write down mm -hmm. uh, September 17 this entry is scheduled to be running for September month and execute it you will find a message at the bottom line session September 17 has been created we had only three, but it may be the case. You may have thousands of documents. So it's not possible to run them in front one by one, one by one. So we are doing what? We are scheduling it, everything in the background, and the batch run all will be processed in one go. So go to system, services, batch input, and sessions. Over here, 
you have September 17, you see? Yes, sir. Yeah. So select that session. And from above, click on process. Oh, then click on display, errors only. Mm -hmm. This is the procedure to run the batch. Batch means running multiple transactions in one go. And then click on process. All the documents scheduled between 1 to 30th of September will be posted, provided that their frequency should be matching. If frequency is saying three months, okay. so it will run once and then it will not run for next two months. Then it will run again on the third month. So that is how it will be processed. Yeah. So here, click on exit batch input. Now, you might want to see F.15. Have a look. You will find, first of all, first run and next run date has changed. It is first run is now 1 9 and this one is next run as 1 10. Same way, this one. First run is 1 9 and the next run is after a year in 2018. Third one. Once it has run already on 5th and the next run is showing in 12th month. I mean in December. Okay. Here in the number of runs here. It's showing 1 now. It has run once so far. Next month it will be running another time. Okay. Yeah. It is making sense to you now? Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. If you try to run it twice, if you have already processed it for a month, and if you try to run it once again, system will give you a message like for September, I've already scheduled. If I try again, <laughs> it will simply say session not created. You see, this is an SAPF 120 was not created. SAPF 120. Oh, because we didn't include that. Okay. Yeah, because it's already ran, run once, huh? So for that month, it will okay. not run another time. Right, right, okay. Yeah. It's just to make sure that duplicacy is not there. If you want to check the entry that you have posted just now, you may go to FBL 3N. Mm -hmm. Let's hang on. <coughs> now, which account to query? Okay, bank we have used in every entry. Yeah? So if we check bank. All entries will be displayed. So give 2010, execute, and see. Check the bottom line here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rending a monthly, loyalty receive yearly, maintenance fee quarterly. Okay, now I'm doing what? I'm opening the next month also. I should not do it right now. It should be done next month only. But just to show you what's going to happen next month, I'm opening the periods further. TAT1 say I'm opening it until 12. So up to December is open now. Not to worry. F dot one four. Okay, that opened already. No. Now let's try to schedule it for the next month. That is October. Mm -hmm. 110 to be 1 10 to 31 10 2017. Okay, guys, let's try to schedule it. It will say 
session October 17 was created. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying mm -hmm. to show you, have a look here. You see these three entries this time because it was the first month of the run. So all the three process. But next month onwards, I mean October onwards, only one document, rent income monthly will be posted. Nothing else. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. let's try to check the schedule. So go to the system, services, batch input, and session. Mm -hmm. See, October 17 is there. Click on process. Process. Display errors only and process again. Mm -hmm. List and request. Okay, I will run the session also. Okay. I just have run it on this system. Um, panel display. What is that? Go back. Check all items here. It is showing open until key date 5 9. That is why it was showing that much of entry. Only. So, going all items will see so everything. Have a look. We have another document on the date 1 10 17. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay. The other two has not been posted because their frequency haven't reached. Okay. Their frequency is going to be one, one entry is going to be posted after three months. And after that, it will be going to be posted once in a year. Okay, so criteria is clear. What we do in recurring entries? Right, yes, sir. Huh. Now, next one is the easier one. Say you are working for a store and iPhone 7 Plus has came into the market. Or maybe iPhone 8 came into the market. Mm -hmm. So the people will be standing in queue to take that, right? I mean, there will be a large demand of that entry. Hmm? Yeah. So, what will happen? Every time the salesperson try to sell an entry, there is a time, maybe two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, something that is scheduled. That much he or she will take to process that entry, right? Yes. So that time, okay. uh, processing time, our one of our you know uh, activities are to reduce the user's time that he generally takes so if an entry is repeating itself again and again instead of typing the posting key or maybe typing the debit credit amount account every time we should have an easier option that we can use easily and post the as many as times we want right so for that particular case we may go for creating a sample entry sample entry can be created any number of times from a template and it there's no restrictions on you know on uh, there's no validity or something like that so you can run it as many as times you want so how to create it go to accounting financial general ledger doc entry in the reference only you will find f dash zero one okay in the today's date only say it as sample list Come down. Posting key 40. Money will come into the bank account. Hit enter. Uh, amount, amount, amount. Say $1,200. What you're trying to do? iPhone sale test. 50. And here, uh, put your sales account. 3000 is your sales account. Mm -hmm. Put a start here and put a plus here. Save it. Document number double two triple O was stored in company code THG1. Okay, so just remember this number. You can be anywhere, maybe over here also. See, you will find post with reference and put here double two triple O. Hit enter again, hit enter. See, all came automatically. Have you given any account number, amount, anything? Nothing. Post it. It's been posted. Say you are on FB50 slash and FB50. Right here. Here, click on go to and post with reference. Put double two triple O. Enter. Enter again and see. 
just press save and it will be posted document number 1023 posted in company code tat1 right okay you may trying to be at f02 here also you will find post with reference option double two triple o hit enter enter save it then modifying sample entry is also easier to just close doc entry go to document uh, reference and here you got sample open it fdm2 enter you want to change amount no worries so there's a discount of 50 dollars back change the other line item as well save it next time when you will run the sample from anywhere <clears throat> what you will be doing post with reference double to triple o enter here also if you want you want to change date okay six nine six nine you want to change the text okay i m e i number something 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 given you will change amount you can double click on here also but it will not change that template it will just change this particular document and post it yeah okay dear yes making sense for sample touch mm -hmm. yeah yes you want to delete sample easier go to f.57 no need to set any indicator like in recording See, delete it. Now, if you go and try to process it, system will tell you. So, slash and F dash O2. Try to reference double to triple F. Not there. Achha, not just sample. Anyone. If you know 1023, you have posted maybe in past. You want to copy this document you can do it any document number you can reference not to worry okay dear right yes sir yes now it's the high time we are processing the last setup of our general ledger that's called as currency translation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Say you are in US. Okay. You have to do some business with India. Hmm? in order mm -hmm. to do that you should have indian currency support in your system as well so when we are dealing with different currencies of different countries and at that point of time if we need to process other currencies so we need to have the currency set up with us if you don't have the currency set up you will not be able to do post transactions in the other currency. So for that case, we will have to define the currency translation setup. So before facilitating this feature, we need to have three things: B, G, and M. B here is called as bank selling rate. G is your bank's buying rate, the rate on which bank is buying, selling and dealing with the currency. Third one is average rate, M. How it works? That is the next question. 
say I'm trying to do a translation between USD and INR, Indian rupees. The translation ratio is like one USD is equal to kind of sixty dollars or so. Okay. So maybe we need to raise this translations for maybe B is 60 G is buying rate so it will come less say 58 and M is the average rate difference of the two so that's 59 so you have to maintain these three rates three settings you have to maintain over here remember <coughs> currency maintained on first of every month and for the whole month that rate will be taken care of again in the on the first of next month the currency rate will be maintained over again okay so here three settings needs to be maintained let's find out there spro ing Then go to financial account. No, not NetWeaver here. In the NetWeaver, go to general settings, currencies, and first of all, change exchange rate type, translation ratio, and enter exchange rates. These three things you have to maintain. In the first one, you just have to check. Whether B, G, and M are available in the system or not. So let's find out. B is here, G is here, and M is here. If any one entry of them are checked, do uncheck them like this. We need not to keep them checked. Checks are being kept for European Union countries where the currency rate is fixed to euro. So it is not in case of other sites of the world it's just in European Union all the European countries used to have you know the same currency uh, they have made a currency called euro and all of them do all foreign exchange in euro only. <coughs> okay now so B and G and M are there so go back second option is defined translation ratio for currency translation Say a yes here. Warning will appear. Now, put new entries. Exchange rate type B and B. Then take G and G. Then take M and M. B, G and M. From currency, you have to take USD. And to currency, take it as INR. Repeat this entry here, here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do the same in diagonal view here too. And at the bottom line, okay. USD. Yeah. 1 9 2017. Put the same date here, here, here. Ratio should be. One. One. Try not to hit enter like me. Okay. One to one means one rupees equivalent will be counted in US dollar. Okay. Save it exactly the same way. We are trying to evaluate one US equal to one rupee. Now enter exchange rate. Hit new entries.
Halo. Iya. Repeat again. DB GNG Y2. One for forward maintenance, one for backward. I mean, USD to INR and INR to USD. Then after uh, from currency, USD to INR. Uh -huh. Come on. Don't it enter in between? Now, for one dollar is equal to how much? Sixty for B. Mm -hmm. Same way, this is again B, so sixty into one rupee is equal to one dollar. Do it like this: fifty-eight, and here as well, fifty-eight. Then put fifty-nine, and here also put fifty-nine, and hit enter. An entry already exists with the same key. Achha. Somebody might have maintained that. So M is maintained, okay? <coughs> you have to find out. System does not take duplicate entries. M from currency USD to INR 1-9-2007. Oh, for 100, I don't need 100, I need to keep it as 59. <coughs> Saved, let me make a indirect percent out of that. INR to USD. Okay. So you should be creating the way I was creating only. Now mm -hmm. it's been maintained. It's been decided from document type OVA7 that which are the currency types you can use. So in document type SA, we are since we are dealing with GL, so we'll go and check SA only. In SA, you will find exchange rate type for foreign currency document is set to M. M mm -hmm. need not to be given. Okay. By default, even if you don't give, M is a default rate. So if it is blank, so it will automatically take M only. Okay. Hmm. A lot of people are logged in. Good. Don't need to put M. Keep it blank. So uh, if it is set to M, means rate is set to what? Mm, Fifty nine. That's the average rate. Okay, let's try to run a transaction. <coughs> F dash zero two. Every fifty, we generally don't use in currency translation. We give the date. Change the currency. From USD to INR, come down, put any account number, hit enter and put one, actually not one, put dollar, one dollar, it is set to how much? 0 0.02. Mm -hmm. Is it? Uh, let me take how much? 59. Three, four, eight, one. Oh, really? I think it was reversed. When this time is going to come. <laughs> Hang on a Let me just check out. There's some mistake. Oh, we. Sorry. Let's go to this. 
transsexual male. We did correct. That's fine. We'll change the date. Not to worry. Currency. Enter exchange rate. BB. We can modify that, but finding that will be a hectic task. So let's change a different date. Somebody else has also maintained some same similar convention. So instead of one, we'll keep five as the date. Always remember, latest date will be taken care of. So if somebody have maintained uh, on first and you're maintaining on fifth, so fifth will be given priority and it will be taken care of. Um, USD. Okay. So what I'm proposing is one dollar equal to how much 60 rupees okay mm -hmm. and reverse 60 rupees equal to one dollar okay next one dollar equal to how much 58 mm -hmm. INR okay and 58 and here 59 that's average here also 59 hmm. save it i'll keep this window now let's run the transaction slash n <coughs> f dash o2 date foreign currency Okay. This is what okay. I wanted. If you want to see one rupees is how much in dollars, so you can see it. 0 0.02 nice. pesa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once you change the rate, from blank to B. B means set to. Bank selling rate. One dollar equal to how much? Sixty, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to see what rate it is taking. It's 60 here. Hmm? All right. I've got zero two. What if if you want to raise the rate? Put a slash sign since you are coming from USD to INR. USD is the higher currency. So if you're coming higher to lower, then you have to put a slash before. And see, it has went up to 65. Okay. Because transactions happens on real rate. So real rate is saying mm -hmm. 65. It will give you mm -hmm. a message. Exchange rate 65 deviates from exchange rate 60 by 8.3%. Now put mm -hmm. here $1, you will find it is how much? 65. And okay. the difference between 60 and 65 will be collected up in an account called exchange rate difference account. And will be later on processed for currency exchange rate valuation on monthly and yearly basis. A different parameter so this is what your currency translation is yeah. okay okay now next class onwards your next topic that's account table is going to be started stop the recording